If one of them looks better, even though I own them both, I'll be devastated. I swear, we have a battle today. Can the crop sensors keep up with the full frame overlords of our ancestor selves? I do believe they can. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. Can you tell just by looking at them through color science, dynamic range, which is the Sony full frame, which is the tiny little Fuji APS-C, the little new boy on the block. Oh, so cute. Did you guess it? Wow. Sony was on your le right, left? It's my right hand, how would I remember? Now that's interesting. See, Sony's known for kind of just tending to the sky and forgetting that there's an actual human boy holding your camera and they ignore you. In the screen, it looks very dark, but usually when I get it back, it looks okay. So what we're doing, F-Log 2 versus S-Log 3. I've graded it somehow. I'm capable. And we got the 8 to 16, 2.8 for the Fuji. 20 mil, 1.8, stop down to 24 to match the toniature to its Tony equivalents. All right, let's do a little stabilization test. Nice and easy, Sony. If you're careful, it works pretty good. If you're not careful, it does not work good at all. Whereas Panasonic, you just hold it out at arm's length with a long tripod. You laugh at the world. I miss those days. I miss those days thousands of dollars later. We have worse stab and a worse image, and it hurts the heart. The heart chakra is melting, but here we have stabilization engaged, active engaged. I'm engaged. Versus the Fuji. Now, equally careful. We saw this exact lens on the X-T4. Bunch of people threw up in the comments. They're like, oh, it's so warpy, bro. Bunch of drama queens down there. I threw up. I got so sick. Oh. You didn't get sick. Your mom is sick of you. And that's why she gave birth to a brother, hoping that he would outlive you or kill you like the first brothers in history did. Fortunately for her, it didn't happen. Am I in focus? Something's off. Something's really off today. Okay, I'm just gonna sit down, collect myself. It seems to be working, but it's not. Everything's in focus. So it's really hard to tell on a Tony 2.8 on APS-C, you're not worthy of my time. Why did I just buy a Zeiss 2.8 for this camera? That was immediate regret. It hasn't even arrived yet. But I'm just sitting. I'm hoping that, that this is working and I don't know what went haywire. There's, the focus rings way on the outside. I'm not just like tapping it. I would see the peaking. Boom, I can see that the peaking just took over. That's not what's happening. Something is angry in the Fuji system. I could just vlog like this, manually focusing, but that's not what we're doing. You wanna see the autofocus? But it's improved. Sony just never lets you down. You don't have to think about it ever. You do have to think about your face looking uglier than it should. And that is flashing. I tried to stop down to look cool, but I just look stupid. I don't, I don't know that Fuji has caught up. Before today, I would have said, yeah, they're quite close. It hasn't lost me much, except in 240 frames, which we will test. But let's just test something else. Okay, dynamic range. Do you have me? We're all good. Let's go back to Tony Fours. So, oh God, I pressed a button. I pressed a lens button. I don't know if I even assigned that to anything. Okay, dynamic range right now. In the screen, Fuji is crushing your life right now and that's embarrassing, Sony. You should be embarrassed. Is that true though? In reality, we will see it. Exposure adjustments. We're both in auto white balance. I'm seeing, has Fuji improved it? Cause sometimes, you know what? We're now right out there just for the heck of it. Cause this is how I was vlogging on that X-T4. So let's just see this. But sometimes a camera will come out that's new and they won't mention some of the things that they've improved dramatically. So maybe Fuji X-H2S auto white balance has been improved and it's no longer like, oh, let's switch over to magenta. It's okay now. 
You know what's hilarious? That button actually does something and it's devastating. It does the manual focus, although that's quite the hack for vlogging. Boom, manual focus now, and it would never lose you. But let's be real, Sony would never lose you anyway. But I find Sony auto white balance to be a little warm. They thought, oh, everyone likes Canon colors because they're warmer. That's not why. It's something else, work on it, because it's not the warmth, and this warmness is disgusting. Oh my God, there's a butterfly. I'm doing wildlife with wide angle lenses. Oh, oh God. Is this, oh, come back. Stop doing this. Oh, that is good content. May the autofocus gods be with us this night. Seems to be good. So now we're in a little different situation, aren't we? A Cinetone for Sony. Eterna. No logs. No cheating with the logs. Who has more dynamic range now? Because log means everything. You could have the shittiest camera, but you put C-Log 2 in there, you got some logs. You got some logs over there. So, red shirt is one orange. Better not be. Is one disgusting, one cool? We'll do one more simulation test, then we'll put these on a tripod, do some stuff better than this. I brought the 18mm 1.4, just to have a, a little advantage. Hmm. And the autofocus gods judge our worth this night. Okay, I turned off the frickin' autofocus plus manual focus. Hopefully I don't have to keep resetting the thing and touching the trigger focus with this upside down pinky. And I've turned on digital stabe. Welcome to floating around town. Is that better? Could that? I know it'll be decent for this. We're trying to do a 20 mil equiv, but if we widen it out there, will it still benefit our hearts. Is it smooth? Panasonic level? Huh? Okay, what about now? Now it's just awkward. 8 mil. That's a 12 mil equiv. That's way too wide. I think lenses should only go 15 mil max. I do like that Canon 15 to 35. It's a good lens. I wish somebody would make... I'm not going to ruin it. No, that's an entirely other video. You wish you were getting that right now. So we're in... Nostalgic Neg versus Neutral. Just neutral. No picture profile. Someone's running, trying to better their health. Will they drop dead of a heart attack? Hopefully not. But they're tonning. Even at a one. Ton it for. They disappear into the night. How's this color profile treating you? How's that treating you? What if we tone it down? Tone it down. Oh, that happened. See, that's the magic that could be in your heart. You shouldn't do it outside. Is neutral decent? Orange shirt, red again, maybe? Just not as much dynamic range. Nobody cares, let's leave. I'll go to a forest or something. highway I can't hear it if you can't there's someone in the background it's a lookout point not sure what we're learning right now but 18 mil 1.4 how did it keep up with the autofocus 
We're both wide open. That one's flashing. It's flashing pretty hard. It's good enough. The tunnel. I tried to somewhat... I could have even brought that one closer. Oh god, that's in the shot. Man. I got the tunnel. We got the tunnel. All right, I want to do a controlled dynamic range test, and then we go to the studio, review the footage, do another little side-by-side -side in the studio, or my living room, as I call it, and then we learned something. Okay, I'm gonna make this very brief since I obviously have no idea what I'm doing. F-Log 2 for the Fuji Base ISO 1250, but Sony A7S III, S-Log 3, Base ISO 640. So that should be double a stop, we're both at 6, 8,000 shutter, 24, Tony 2.8, there's a B, my god. So what are we learning? I don't know. The sky should be saved on both. That was zero metering. We were zero metering on both. That's what I was going for. And now it's fluctuating for no reason. Even though everything's locked in the settings, the sun moves unfortunately, for our Earth. So, who wins whatever this test is? Is this a decent vlogging lens? 18mm 1.4? It could work. How's the stabe? I am walking home. I didn't say I wasn't going to bring you with me. No digital stabe on. Not bad. Not bad. Can we turn digital stabe on while recording? Go to hell, Fuji. Now digital stabe is on. Have they ironed out any of the kinks? Before it was decent on the X-T4. It waved a little, but it was more smooth. It was worth using. I'll go home. All right, I've had a chance to look over the footage. Interesting results, we'll get to them. I've switched the lens out. Zeiss Battis 25mm 22. First the 18mm 1.4, very similar. Here we have that neutral versus Astia, same white balance. There we have that. So this is what you can look like in a Fuji camera. Super dark on this side for some reason. Sony not doing that, don't know why, don't know what I'm doing. So when it comes to the Fuji, I don't know why it struggled so hard with the autofocus today because when you touch the manual focus, you see the peaking, it clearly changes, whereas it wasn't doing that, I could still see the box. I don't know what was happening. Something happened, it's been very reliable. I don't know what I did, just blame me. It does not mess up anymore. It's like when we did the side-by-side -side autofocus test with the Sony, it was the same, like same exact motions, pretty much Sony level now. Congratulations, are you though? Oh yeah, you are. So when it comes to dynamic range, I, I don't know if I should cry or what. I th it feels like either Fuji auto exposes better for the human face, it retains more shadow detail while still not clipping the highlights. It seems like the Fuji has more dynamic range, but a professional colorist would know what to look for. So I was trying sometimes like you boost the shadows and it's like that doesn't look right and I, I don't know, Fuji just looked better. Like it looks like it has better dynamic range. When it comes to Fuji's absolutely abysmal 240 frames per second, that's a deal breaking flaw. I can't believe it's so much worse than the X-T4 was. It's absolutely crumbled to the A7S III which is not very good. It's really bad super noisy. I don't understand how it's worse than the X-T4. It's so bad. That's a deal breaker, man. That hurts. I spent $3,000. When it comes to color science, I think I prefer Fuji a lot. Sometimes it didn't look very good. I don't know. Sony's always a strange, like the shadows are red. I can't fix it. It can never be fixed. The blacks are never right. Sony, I hate your colors, always. Then Fuji's pretty good. I don't know that it's canon level. It's subjective anyway, so I don't know. It's more fun, a lot of different simulations. And when it came to the Stabe, I'm not seeing huge improvements over the X-T4 with the X-H2S. 
It wasn't better than the Sony. I think it was worse. I don't know. I, it's worse to me for wildlife and vlogging. I still feel like there's just a full frame edge. It's just better. And I feel like I wasted a lot of money. But thank you, Aiden Camera, for letting me waste my money with you. I appreciate that. Let's all go to Aiden Camera tonight and... I'll just go cry in that closet behind me after the video. So go there or shop around through some Amazon affiliate sales. Those have been known to be around. They help. I'll go cry to sleep.